Hello everyone. Sorry, but this is being done handheld. So it's a bit complicated to get the positioning of the camera straight. But today, allow me to tell you a story. A story that happened on this very adventure. The story of Legend of Zelda. How all this happened. Of course, it, every bit will not be exact. This is all from memory. Now, the interesting story is. I will be using this. Like everybody else, I started at the Shrine of Resurrection. Around here. Of course, then I woken up for myself. In the Great Plateau. Of course, then I met the old man that led me to the Temple of Time. Oh wait. What? No wait. No, 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 no. I actually met it. Self. Then I went to here. But at first I thought it was just an old rock. But once I had to face something. Boom. Boom, crack a boom. Giant, a giant tower just appeared out of nowhere, causing a bunch of towers to appear out of nowhere. Of course, this little spot, this, let me show you outline. This little spot was all great plateau. This is where you have to begin your train. Well. The next first shrine was I was told to go to was here. The old man AU shrine. Which is basically Manisa's trial. Each of these little trials taught you this. Then the next one was the bomb trial, but that was the first time I ever encountered a stuck a guardian stuck in the ground. It was deadly. Try to kill me. Of course, then I went this way. Found some trees, so I cut down and climb. I just put risk to it because what's a little what's a little fun without risks? So I risked myself in the game and did the stasis trial, but making it over here to the cryos cryonis trial. That was hard because one reason. Oh, it was a f wait. Oh, well, all I know is that it was a, in a frozen area. Yeah, right there. And if I tried to go over there, I would freeze up until I learned to cook something. And then I gave it to the old man, and then he gave me some hot wear. And then I climbed up here. Of course, I looked that one up. I looked up a few things on my journey. I mean, I like it, but I did. Anyway, to continue, I went back to Temple of Time. The old man told me to stunt Calamity again, but also if I need help to go to Kakariko Village. And so I first went. The first spot I did, I to take Lake Colomo. That's just a little somewhere to go first. And then I went to the Dueling Peaks. And then Kakariko Village. Who said it? That I could either. I got save all four divine beasts of the Gorons, the Rito, the Gerudo, and the Zor. I can also go here to learn about memories. And then, with that in mind, I, after seeing the bosses and what they give you, I decided to. Head around the Nanru 
lands. Oh, so that's a shrine. I don't wonder if that was shrine. But I went climbing and tried to go every region I went to, I tried to at the tower so I could get a map. Maps really help you on journeys like this. So I unlocked the ladder tower and then I went to Indigo Bridge, which then I found my first friend. Allow me a sec to show you. Here it is. There he is. I didn't. But then after that, he told me to go to Zoro's to me to help him save it. And that's what I did. I followed him on its little path. And then, which is actually quite drawn because being shot with lightning and the infinite rain. The infinite rain was a trouble here. But, there's a long path. But, I got past Rideau Mountain, I made it. Raised over a bridge, and then I knew I was in Zoros to me. The homeland of the Zoros. So it's there, Sidon introduced me to the king of the Zoros. Sorry guys, I was a bit distracted by a call. I didn't even know. Of course, they then told me to get lightning arrows on Pylamas Mountain. There, I found a lentil, which I knew were impossible for me at my stake. I tried facing it almost, I think, around 10 times or more. I kept dying and dying and dying and dying, 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 dying. But then, I just gave up on that. So I just looked it up and then sneaked around them. Then we did the Divine Beast, which this one is was actually over here in the East Reservoir, making it rain. But then after that, the Divine Beast Ruta, I tried to be the gent, the wire blight over there. I was able to free it and get me first grace. It's basically healing. I then went my way upwards. Of course, I had to look up how to get to Goron Mountain. Then I learned fire resistance. And so I tried my way up to Goron City, where I met another good ally. Here it is. Good I record all this. Oh man, oh man, oh man, what am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! That's a bit goofy. <laughs> After I found you and Bone returned to the village, the elder couldn't be able to help him, so we had to take on Drania together. Of course, it was a bit hard at this point because of all the monsters that kept killing me and I was stuck with the Zoros on known weapon. But when I entered Redania, I found a puzzle that I couldn't solve, so I looked it up. And I lost Zoros, the great Zoros weapon. I can't believe this. It's gone forever because of my stupidity. Once we beat Fireblade, Redania was saved. After that, I decided to go this way. But at first, I went to a lost woods, but I wasn't strong enough. And so, I continued my way, ignoring that Mekar Island, which I didn't even know was there. Of course, I had troubles with Rito part. I thought I had to go to that Tundra area, but I found my way around. No bridge. I actually just 
blow my way across. <laughs> I didn't notice there was a bridge. And so, I just went up here. Yeah, I did see the giant Divine Beast Meadow up here. But of course, there are four allies. They told me to search for someone around Dreadnought Pass. And that next person was... Yeah, that was the warrior who wanted to stop our bird. The bird that was troubling everything, which was the Bind Beast Bomb Meadow. Of course, first he was trying to test me in the flight range and shooting arrows. Then we flown all the way to Meadow and taught it who's boss with bomb arrows. And Arito crafted, well, bow. After that, I defeated the Wind Blight. Children actually. No wait, it was a lot of trouble. And so I tried to via that. I headed straight to the Gerudo's area. It's actually hard for me. That part was pretty hard because I didn't know what to do with the heat. So I went there and then I went back. And then I love about the ladies outfit. That'll get me into Gerudo Town. Yay! Of course, then I met their New tribes leader. It wasn't this person. I was just talking to it. This is where I meet Riju, the Gerudo chief. She told me to get the Thunder Helm back, and so I first scrambled to get the tower, and then I was stuck here. There's nothing around. So I found out about Flame Arrow's burn stuff. And so then I went to the Yika clan hideouts, and then found our leader, which I could have just flown around it, but I took the stupid way. Or maybe you were supposed to go that way. I wasn't. Holy sure. But yeah, their leader was actually too easy. I'd be him up in a few minutes. But I'd been sure to take a picture. And then we went to face off against Naboris, which was right here. I actually went to this place. I actually went to this tower earlier and spotted it. And so once we took down Naboris, and the Thunder Blight, which is the hardest one since it's super quick. I then tried to take on Hyrule Castle. But not before getting the Master Sword, of course. But I failed. This is how close I got. And so, that's the whole story. How do you guys like it? It explains everything about Naboris. The bird, the Goron's own mechanic, and Zora. That explains the whole story. Now, I hope you have a good day. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you next time on my journey. Bye-bye.